Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Bob here. Thanks so much for stopping by. So coming at you today with the second release from father and son duo Matt and Tate of Mass Watches. We looked at their first watch, the Irokanji Diver, a few months back. They were very successful with that watch and they've come out with the second release now, a dress watch known as the JCB. I was really excited to get this one in and equally as excited to share it with you. So let's get into the watch. Now, you might be wondering what JCB stands for if you're new to the watch. JCB is the initials of Matt's grandfather, John. John moved the family to Australia from Scotland in the mid-60s, and the watch takes inspiration from the watch that Matt's grandfather wore at the time. There's actually a second nod to John and their family heritage with the Scotch thistle that's engraved here on the case back, which is a nice little touch. There's going to be a number of models with different dial colors and cases in steel, gold, and rose gold. If you're interested in a cleaner design, Mass just let me know that they've decided to release two versions, a white and a black dial, without the numerals at the 3, 6, 9, and 12. They look really great too, bit more of a modern style. The watch comes out in a size that should work for just about any wrist size for this dressy style of watch. The case comes in at a width of 38 millimeters. Lug to lug is 47 millimeters. The lug opening is 20 millimeters and the thickness of the case only is 9.3 millimeters. That comes up to 12 and a half millimeters when you're including the domed sapphire crystal. The water resist is 50 meters and the crown is a screw down crown, which you're not always going to see on a watch like this. The movement is the Miyota 9039. It's a hackable and hand winding 24 joule movement beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour, giving us that nice sweep of the second hand. This version has a deep blue dial, which works well against the rose gold handset markers and case. Up top is the mass logo, and I like that they matched the automatic text above the six with the rose gold. The hour markers are applied, and if you look close, the markers by the Arabics are filled with loom. They plan to tweak the loom slightly to improve it. The production models are a little bit weak, but not bad considering it's a dress watch. The case is finished to a high quality with a brushed top, then we have polished sides. It's a very classic and simple design, but a nice design. The crown is signed with the mass logo. The logo also makes an appearance on the buckle. It's very small, but I find it gives the buckle a more elegant look than an oversized etching or engraving. I really like the choice of strap here too. Feels like a good quality leather and just a nice pairing for this watch. On wrist, that 38 millimeter size is a sweet spot for me when it comes to dress watches. The curved lugs give it a nice fit and feel. If it were me, I would probably opt for the straight steel case, but I have to admit I've been enjoying the rose gold more than I would have expected. The JCB, by the way, is planned to be coming to Kickstarter later this month. When I have the link, I'll put it in the description below. The watches are going to start at around 280 US dollars. There's also a beads of rice bracelet as a stretch goal. I saw a picture of one of them on a beads of rice yesterday, thanks to Matt, and it looks really sharp on the bracelet. So that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Thanks to Matt and Tate for lending in the JCB, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.